the sense of all finality. The Supreme Court has disagreed with the need of appeal position. Uh, well, the position of the Supreme Court is that yes, everything done in this land, the Kanu was wrong and wrong and wrong. The invasion of his ancestral home, the cancellation or revocation of his bail, they, are, they were all wrong. And that a citizen should not be put in the position that when he's charged for a matter, the same security agencies or government will permit illegalities against them. They all agreed, the Supreme Court agreed with this position, but said, however, that there's no law for now that says that because illegalities have been committed against the citizen, the trial should be aborted. Uh, and they gave an analogy with search warrant that if a, if, if a, a search is carried out and things are illegally recovered, that does not nullify the prosecution. So that, in other words, what the Supreme Court is saying is that it requires judicial intervention in terms of legislation. But the Supreme Court sympathized in the case of Nam Khan, um, the way he was forcefully renditioned back from Kenya brutally. The Supreme Court used the word uh, brute force, um, but however heard that uh, they disagree with the Court of Appeal, which had discharged and acquitted him over the allegations. In other words, what the Supreme Court is saying is that Namika should go back to the trial court and face the remaining seven count charge. Don't forget that I had gotten eight out of the 15 counts dismissed at the trial court on the ground that they had no water. So it may take a little longer by God's grace. At the end of the day, uh, Victoria has settled. Victory is certain. It's forward ever. Backward never. Please, in the next 40 seconds, can you reiterate? When we get to the lower court, <laughs> to the trial court, we know. Uh, the account that we have already said have no, they, they are not, they have no basis to try at all. No, there's no basis. And that was the basis of Akros Apli, which the Supreme Court said it was not necessary and it's still because what was uh, required is what we call prima facie case, not that there will be watertight evidence. But I can assure you that none of those trials has any scintilla of evidence uh, to support it at all. Before now, you've made a passionate appeal to the federal government yes. as a matter of national peace, yes. unity, and reconciliation yes. that the federal government should release in Africa. Are you a bit uh, disappointed that the federal government? I, I still believe that uh, it's still an opportunity for the federal government to weigh in. Uh, on no less than three occasions, I generated before the former head of state, uh, President uh, Muhammad Ibrahim, to release Nabikan so as to give peace a chance in the southeast. Because peace in the southeast means peace in the entire nation. If you have a whitlow on your finger that aches you, you will not be able to sleep. That little finger you will not be able to sleep. Because the pain will sear through you. So I had again and again appealed to the government. I even wrote a 36-page letter to the then president, citing international laws, authorities, humanitarian laws, and why they should allow him now become go home. That government didn't listen. But I hope that the present government, under President Ahmed Bolatinibu, may, may seize the, 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 the initiative and take the only branch and release this young man. He does not have anything to do with truncating the legal proceedings. All it requires is for the Attorney General of the Federation to enter a nolle prosecutor. That is, we no longer want this case to be. And I believe that when that is done, the people, particularly the South, will be dealing with their life. We applaud the President uh, and I think this will even give his government mileages and mileages, tons and tons of uh, acceptability. That, that's, that's where I think. So I, it's never too late to seek a political solution.
to this matter. So what we were doing was that wife we were, because they were the appellant, the federal government was always the appellant. So what we were doing was that as we were the defenders, as we were always the defenders, we were also seeking peace. We have never thrown away the uh, peace option, which I think is now more urgent with the urgency of yesterday than ever before now. I, I believe this is the time to make peace because I learned that the entire Southeast has been locked down. I was supposed to go and deliver the convocation, the convocation lecture of Gregory University at the pool at the state uh, tomorrow, Saturday, the 16th of December 2023. I was to go to pool. But yesterday I got a letter from the university that they have canceled the convocation ceremony is shifting it to probably next year because of the insecurity that has enveloped the southeast and they sent to me a viral notice that all people in the southeast should stay back at home uh, whether between 15th and 18th or 17th of this month and that because of that they could not risk make come or the university won't have any convocation so I think that is not good for the country's image. That is not good for the country's development. Uh, when five, five states are literally locked down, and no business, no worship centers, no nightlife, no markets, no schools, uh, that is not good for our country. So I think uh, the present government should look at this matter very strongly, very seriously, and uh, try to give peace a chance by releasing an African. It will be peace for Nigeria, not just for the South. It will be a win-win situation for the government, for Nabi and for the people of Nigeria. Thank you very much.